So now that we've learned about HTML elements themselves, let's move into CSS. So maybe you're asking yourself, why do I need to learn CSS? I mean, I already can create a website. I can put up inputs and paragraph blocks and image tags. But without CSS, every web page would just be a drab set of text and pictures flowing straight into the page. But with CSS, you can add color, take control of hundreds of attributes to alter the layout of web pages, and create visually stunning experiences for your users. In the real world, as a developer, you'll often be given high fidelity mockups or wireframes that your clients want you to deliver into a website. And because CSS is the execution of design, and the design of a web page is the deciding factor in how engaged users are, CSS becomes incredibly important in the web marketplace. So hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll understand the basic structure for adding styling to HTML elements, what the heck's a box model is, the importance of hierarchy and specificity in CSS, how to configure fonts and colors, styling for images and shapes, best practices for styling and formatting, and almost anything else you can imagine. This is really where we learn how to take what's in our imagination and add the computer code that lets it come to life. So let's jump right in.